What's up everybody today? I'm going to do a very quick video on a very small section of the network of TrueNOS scale. This is the new 25.04 Fangtooth. I just want to show you guys building a bridge really quickly because I realized that it's going to be part of a future longer video, but this is just a small little thing that a lot of people need to do just really quickly to get up and running. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and click network. I'm going to click, I want to add a network interface. I want to add a bridge. And I want to go ahead and call it BR0. There is a limit to the naming scheme. You can see here it says bridge interface must start with BR followed by a unique number. I'm just going to call mine BR0. Uh, I am not going to, I'm going to make sure all this stuff is unchecked. I am going to add my bridge member ENS18. It's the only member here. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now I need to change some things here. Do not click these buttons. We have to move this IP address over from ENS18 to BR0, assuming I do want to keep the static IP. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and then exit out and then hit save. Now there is no IP address. I'm going to come down here to my bridge and I'm going to add an alias, which is basically a fancy name for IP address. And I'm going to do slash 24 because that's what it was before. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. There we go. Now this is ready to be tested and switched. In the event you're going to change this to a different IP than the one you're on, so right now I'm on 1099.0.9, and I'm going to change this to like 0 0.10, for example, um, I'm going to sh it's going to break the interface when I do ahead and click Test Changes. Because I'm not going to change it, you're going to see I'm immediately going to get launched right back into the dashboard, just like that. And I have 60 seconds, you see the countdown timer right there, to click Save Changes. In the event that I'm trying to lock, that I change this to 1099.0.10, .10, I'd have to go up here and open either up, open up a new tab or change this to 10.99.0.10, .10, and then log back in again, then navigate to the network tab, then click save changes before this timer runs out. If I don't do that, TrueNOS is automatically going to revert my changes back before, assuming I broke the network and then I have and I lock myself out of the server, which is a pretty safe bet. So I kind of like that feature. It's a great kind of like, oops. Uh, things. I'm going to click Save Changes here. Click Save, and there we go. So now I have a bridge up and built. It's now BR0. This is its address. ENS18 is still up and running, but I am now running on the bridge. The reason you're going to need to do this is for instances. You're going to want to come over here to your configuration, to your global settings, and you're going to want to change this bridge from automatic because it's going to give me a, a VLAN, which is not part of my address, to BR0 and click Save. And now everything that's launched in my Instances tab, whether it be a container or a virtual machine, will be on my 10.99 network and be reachable from the rest of my network instead of being vlan out. So that's the importance of having a network bridge, is mainly for access to um, my virtual machines or my containers to other things in my network, as well as those machines to something on the host. So this has been a quick overview on how to do a bridge. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you guys have any questions, again, please like and subscribe. Leave anything in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to say thank you, please buy me a coffee.